Now that we've set up our A1 metric sheet for our first floor structural plan, what we're going to look at now is the sheet and title block properties. Now to do this, I'm going to zoom in on the title block details here down in the corner first of all. So let's zoom in and just pan so that we can see all of that information. So you can see the project there, you can see first floor structural, infinite skills, drawn by author, checker and so on. Now all of that, when you move over it, can you see it highlights? It's a bit like an AutoCAD block with attributes. You can double click and you can say who the author is. Now you can do it there if you want to on the fly. I'll just hit escape to cancel that and deselect it. You can also select your entire sheet like that so it goes blue and go into the properties palette here. Now you'll notice all of the information is here. Can you see first floor structural? sheet number 001, sheet issue date, checked by, designed by, and so on. So if I just scroll down a little bit here, you'll notice you've got things like checker, designer, approver, and so on. So I can put this information in. Now what you need to do, if you're doing this properly and following a correct drawing methodology within your project, you need to really do it all in the properties palette. That way you know that you've done everything. It's very easy just to click something on the fly here and not think about it. However, there will be times when you do just double click here and you will actually go in and change it on the fly. But the best thing to do is work through the properties palette here. So you've got your identity data. We can see at the title of the sheet, the sheet name is First Floor STR. That's what we gave it when we renamed it down here in the project browser. Talking of which, I'll just scroll down so that we can see what current view we're actually in. There's our sheet there. Now you'll notice there's a plus sign next to it. That tells me which view I've actually got in the sheet. So if I add extra views, they will appear underneath the sheet in the project browser. So let's go back up here now, click on our sheet again, like so, and make sure that we look at our identity data in the properties palette. So checked by, let's put some information in there. Let's put someone we know. There's some initials there already. They were set up in the ground floor structural plan. So I'll just put those in there. Designer, again, if you've already added one before, It'll be in the down list there, but it's not. So I'm just going to change that. So that will be my initials, let's say. Let's go and have a look at what else we can put in. So if I just click on the down arrow, we've got approved there. So we'll put an approved initial in. Click on the down arrow there. There's no extra approvers there. So I'll put just random initials in there like so. So I've put those in. If I apply that now, the nice thing is when I apply, can you see it updates over here? So not only do you do it in the properties palette, but you get that visual thing that I keep talking about, where visually you can check that the information's in there. So you'll notice drawn by author hasn't changed. Designer is a different one. It has to be done, but you have to check that. Someone might design the building, but someone else might draw it. So you get that architect and draftsperson kind of scenario. So make sure that as you go down, you check everything because there's your drawn by right there. So if I click there, there's already one in there. If I do SCB there and apply that, again, it updates. But be careful because some of the fields aren't on the title block. That's what you've got to be careful of. So for example, revision there. We need to check our revision. Now, if I come up here, have we got a revision anywhere in the list? No, we haven't. So what we've got to do now is just click outside properties here and revision, double click it there and I've double clicked it and gone back into the family. So it hasn't changed. So how do I change revisions in a title block? I don't want to save changes to the family. So I'll go back to my sheet. So there's my revision there. So I've got title block, metric standard, click on it. And can I edit the revision anywhere? Let's have a look and see. I can't. So what I've got to do is start looking at revisions later on. We're not going to edit that now, but as you can see, that's how you edit your title block and sheet data. You do it in the properties palette over here, and you can do it on the fly over here. So just double click on the wheel now to zoom extents. You've got your view, you've got all your information, you've got your revisions and so on. They're all set up. And what we'll look at is as we work through this, building up our sheets, building up our views, building up our revisions so that we can communicate our design intent from our Revit structure model.